seconds, as we know, no seconds. Duration is 90 minutes, and the number of players is maxed out. So this is actually um, going to fill up and then start. So fortunately, it's time to start right now. So let's go to the, to the tournament thread. Link. We are starting. And then I will post that. Oh, I have to find the checkmate. This is terrible. That looks like checkmate. So then I will also... Um, put the link in the chat for you people. Oh, there it is. Olaf doing that for us. So you guys need to play very smartly. That's my advice for you. And of course, I want to... Oh, this looks like checkmate. I want to join this tournament as well. I have three messages, so hold on. Let me... Oh, a message from Horchess. What a leak. So the leak made everything more epic. <clears throat> so let's do this. It is starting right now. I'm going to go with early start because we're starting. It's right now. And I'm in the tournament. Fire wait, wait. Game. I have no king. What's going on? Oh, look, guys. He has been supporting Christmas TV with his self for so long. He was like watching episode two, which doesn't even exist. And now here he Dude, is. Dude, what's going on game. here? I have no king. So this is really thrilling. What is this? Yeah. Now, unluckily for him, I'm super awesome at board chess because I spent my whole life practicing it. Uh, okay. Fortunately for him, there's this button right here. Uh, just click that and get on to the next opponent. Anytime you want, shuffle, you can okay. just click that and you will be rescued from the horrible, horrible demise that will come to you a little bit later. <clears throat> so let's do this. Good question in chat. Who does win this game? I bet it's not 50-50. Well, Bushbag, you're right. It's not 50-50. Either white wins or black wins or it's a draw, but we don't really know who has the advantage. I'm going to speculate that, that the pieces have the advantage because if you're not too experienced, you end up making a hole in your pawns and you just lose. That's basically the way things happen in horde chess. So, between inexperienced players okay, and pawns so and pawns, I guess the point is that I'm supposed to just like take all the pawns or something. Know how to better play the pawns so, um, so that they don't get like a rook wait, behind them. Wait, wait, so what about stalemate? One, one rook back here. We'll just is stalemate so a bad thing in this variant? So much devastation. That's basically it. I have no idea. Like, if I stalemate him, do I win? Fortunately. As the levels get oh higher, wait, the no, get it's not stalemate, it's Zoop Swap. So we're going to find out actually through Dude, this which all I need to do is like barricade on one of the files. Of, oh, this is awesome. Of, uh, computer analysis. Yeah. Like, not real computer analysis. So all I need to do is just blockade one base. of these files if this, and not this, get made This, this uh, variant, by the way, is going to go on the chess.org as an okay. official variant. I'm going to close that up following my own advice. Yes, yeah, so I win this by taking everything. I don't know what stalemate evaluates. It's becoming to. an official variant on the chess server, um, so you can play it after the tournament as well with your friends. So okay. We're going to be able to yeah. If I just blockade on C3 and F3, to what's going to happen? Has the advantage, because we'll just um, say, "Oh, look, White wins seventy-five percent of them," and then we can actually go back and fix it because there is nowhere to play horror chess on the internet right now. Uh, Leo Staley can't find the, the tournament, so I'll give him a link. There you go in chat. There's a link to the tournament. Yeah, for I want to open line so for my is getting pieces. overrun by the horde here. Oops, that was the wrong move. I lost a pawn. Now, it's pretty serious to lose a pawn, but it's not game-endingly serious. Uh, losing two pawns is actually a pretty serious. But I'm feeling pretty good about this because I've locked, blocked up both sides, um, which means... Uh, okay, which means so I've blockaded a lot of things. Open files or activity here. So um, this is pretty good for me, I think. Now watch me go ahead and lose, just because it's so difficult for the pawns in this variant. Um, but it is, that's what it is. By the way, four I don't know how much um, for this the knight's variant. worth in this because variant. Because it's kind of, let's see. It's going to be worth some number of pawns, because it's, but how uh, many? It's kind of a lot of moves to get rid of the pawns, because there's so many of them. So the, these games tend to go a lot of chess moves, which means you want to be moving quite quickly. You can see Shaka only has two minutes left, and I still have an enormous horde. So he's kind of in trouble when it comes to the time, because four minutes is not a lot of time. So pick up the pace, guys, who are playing your own games. You need to be playing rapidly. Oh, wait. Now, this guy's pretty smart. Is he take, hanging he for nothing. He's, he's in, because the not taking it for black rank. However, I know what to do. Don't take. Um, I'm actually just fine. So nice try, Shuffle. Nice try. But I'm totally safe. Let's just check my email here while I'm waiting. Um, night coming back. I can so this is kind of a mess, isn't it? Let's 
let's see. How do I complete we development? Have my horde right now. Um, let's get these pawns off the back rank. Pawns on the eighth rank really aren't much because you can't move them two squares. So I think it's a good idea to just move them off while you've got the time. It's not, it's not like there's a race for anything. But I'm not sure. So I have, I'm going to push it this way because I don't want them to capture here. And then I only have one capture because if I push this pawn, I only have one Everything's well defended there, so now I can push here. Okay, the horde is marching. One by one, hurrah, hurrah. Oh, this is so exciting. My pawns are just rolling. That's all early and often, right? Been, you, a lot of you guys are hitting time trouble now because uh, there's just a lot of moves, as you can see. We still have a lot of moves to go, so it's quite a fast time control. It gives up a knight. I'm guessing that knights aren't worth throwing. especially much in this variant. Side here. It might be a bad Close guess. This is really big advantage to have a nice pass pawn here. Very nice. So now I'm going to be patient and bring more pawns in. It's very tempting to start rolling some more, but if I do that, he can capture here. And I just have one defender, and then his queen takes, and I'm just destroyed. You don't want people to trade knight or bishop for two pawns. For those of you just tuning into the stream, you definitely want to go to the tournament link, which I've put in the chat, so you can join in and have a chance to win 0.1 bitcoins. Should I take that knight? Maybe I shouldn't. You know? Probably should, but maybe I shouldn't. Let's just keep on advancing the horde. It's so fun to advance the horde. Let's go to the tournament and see how people are doing. Um, actually, let's check the thread. It's horde chess, says Fanda Sport. He's getting deleted. I'm just deleting everybody who says it's horde chess. Oh, hey. There's I an interesting concept. Okay, I'll leave so... That strange chess was is Yeah. Bad. Now I might promote. Yeah, that's pretty strange. Okay. Should I take that knight, or should I just continue rolling? I will um, continue rolling. I am so Okay, horrible. so okay, he has getting a queen to the other side moves. is kind of strong. And he's now in big trouble as the pawns roll. Because look at that. More defenders here, more defenders here. Oh, yeah. Don't feel bad, Olith. This could happen to anyone. Let's just leave those and roll some more pawns. <laughs> oh, evil cackle. Just, just so exciting. So excited to be winning, winning in the Chess's Cup. He's almost out of time, too. Still, I think that Horde Chess, this must be a win for the Black point, Pieces. I'm, I'm willing to... Oh, I didn't see um, that. Unfortunately, I've got more of these things. That was a good choice. Still there's rolling, There's so though. many pawns. How Definitely could you possibly pressure. stop the entire Horde? I'm still alive. I don't oh, get it. Yeah, this is getting really brutal because he has not broken through. He's going to get a breakthrough very shortly here. But it's not going to be enough. I think my pawns are well advanced. Let's see, that'll hold him out. Oh, oh man! Yeah, ten seconds left. You guys. Oh shoot! Zug addict's plague. Oh guys. Uh, Bring up one more pawn. Yeah, here. this is. Uh, this could yeah, be dangerous. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Let's make one more pass pawn over here. That'll come in handy. No, but seriously, I think the pawns are way too strong in this area. I don't see any way to stop like the horde. All these squares really well with the queen. Looks like I could actually win by advancing this pawn. Maybe he can't take it, or I promote and which is also checkmate. But pretty, pretty nice win for the pawns. Now we're playing against the brain spider. We're in for game number two, and let's take a look at the tournament while we wait for him. Looks like he's gone away. The brain spider is not at his computer. So that's going to be a nice win. Todovsky, wow, picking it up with, with uh, oh, he's berserking. Very smart, guys. I should have told you about that. This button right here will half the time bonus point. I'm going to do that as well. That's very, very risky. Oh, I shouldn't have taken. That was dumb. That's very, very risky. How good is Brain Spider? I underestimated him because I saw he's 1249, but he's 1249 in Horde Chess. Oops, I forgot which about is that. actually just means he lost one. Okay, game. so he's so got the A file. Result, which means we're both crazy, so I need to be playing really There's nothing I can do to contest the A file at this okay, point. So he knows what he's doing, getting these pawn trades going right away. Right away. Um, but I'm still holding. This is a really, really different the game than the last one, but time is going to be so important in this two-minute game. I really expect that. I'm going to capture there because 
I did have a fifth pawn on that file. I don't want to get too low on any files here. So, oh, and that's a good move, but I can avoid it. Oh, he can take here, and then I've got to hold very carefully in this area. If he takes this pawn, hopefully he won't see it. Ah, he doesn't. Good, good, good. Hold that. I don't, he doesn't break through if he takes that pawn, but it does get really nasty. Now I, ooh, that's a good move. Oh, that's really good. I need to bring up, no, I have to, I have to close that. Oh, pawns on the first rank can't move two spaces. How potent. Okay. This pawn, if possible, so I'm bringing a pawn up here. Okay, this is more like it. Now the I should have defended my A pawn, though. You guys are about to witness um, another win of the pawns, which is going to make slightly this reckless so of even about, not but it's not. That. Just wait till I get the pieces. Then you'll be blown away like a leaf in the wind. Oh, that was a nice move. Oh, boy, I have to hold this one. And I'm going to lose back here. It's more important to hold my advanced pawn. And now he leaks into the board. So this is critical, critical moment here. Just as I'm boasting about myself. I'm losing at the same time. So, hmm, I need to find a way to really bring my pawns in. I'm losing my pawns rapidly, but it's going to take him a long time to eat them. Meanwhile, I might have something here. Getting crushed, I think. I have a shot. It takes him a long time to, to take these pawns. So d3. Let's start with this. Okay, so note to self. Be careful about what lines you open. I don't think I have a shot. I think I'm toast. Um, oh, better hold that. Smart. Oh, he's so smart. Okay, so right now. yeah, let's Three seconds. I can't try to open the A file. I think this is hopeless, but I'm not giving up yet because one more pawn coming in this way might do it for me. Take another pawn. Yes, he's out of commission. This is my chance. Go for it. Go, go, go. C2. Can he stop me? Capture toward the center. Here come the pawns. Three pawns. Come on, pawns. Come on, you can do it, pawns. Yes, nine seconds. Premium of that. And um, promote. 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 Oh, I don't have it. Oh, I have to give up. I didn't. His king stopped me. Nice game, Brain Spider. You destroyed me even though I had more pawns. How do you do that? Well, it's time for the, uh, let's try H4. It's time for the pieces to get a chance. Wow, that was tough. Brain Spider, I underestimated him because I saw he was 1,200-something rating, and I thought, how could he ever scare me with that little rating? But I was wrong. He definitely scared me. So now I'm finding somebody who's won a couple of games. Where's his horde rating? Two games, and he has probably won both considering he's 750. He's also berserked, which means I'm not berserking because I think that was a big mistake. I was under time pressure and made some blunders. Pretty happy with this opening. I think I'm going to crack the C4 square here. So it's really difficult to balance this game, by the way, guys, because the there's a game called Dunsany Chess. Let me look it up for you. Dunsany's Chess. And Dunsany invented Dunsany's Chess in the 1940s, and it looks like this. But nobody actually did anything with it. And now I figured out why. Is that simply not enough pawns? So Dunsany's Chess um, is quite imbalanced. The pieces are much better. But there's a couple of extra pawns in this variant. This is actually the chess with flavor of Horde Chess, by the way. Horde Chess actually looks like this down here, with only two pawns on the fourth rank and missing pawns on the eighth rank. So this is really beefed up pawns from Horde Chess. That's because yours truly, aka Chess Whiz, had to do some self-balancing. and to balance myself to make this work as intended. Oh, I should have captured here first. I better not lose this. Well, this is looking kind of bad. I think I can play here and then trade bishop for two pawns. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yuck. I should have taken... No, I can add it. That wouldn't have helped anyway. Trade trade bishop for three pawns? 
I've got to crack this pawn quick. And maybe rook over. I can be bishop takes, then rook takes, then queen takes. And then he only has two pawns on his file. I might be able to break through. Only thinks it's a stupid variant. Here's the chat rolling through. Yeah, I think the pawns win this Before by force. Pawns, black at three, um, whatever. That was probably um, Dunsany's chess. How do I win this game? This looks not at all like a contest. Uh, typing is optional, clearly. Typing correctly is optional. So I'm going to blow myself um, away. <laughs> People are having no fun with this variant, and I don't blame them at all because it's, it's uh, difficult. It's kind of fun to be the pawns when they just don't stop rolling, but it's really bad to be the pawns if they get break if you get a breakthrough. And the uh, enemy pieces get behind you. So I'm just gonna keep trading and then I'm gonna hope that I can I'll actually play here. Uh, that's probably a mistake, but I want to bring my rook out as quickly as possible. Uh, he's not taking it. I want to break through this file. I think this will work. Yes, if the opponent cannot move, it's a draw. So knight takes, pawn takes, queen, or rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Then I'm threatening this pawn, and I'm threatening this pawn. He blocks one, I take the other. And he's still held together. I'm going to go for it, though. I think this will work. Okay. Did I shatter his defenses? Maybe. Yeah, because I'm threatening this pawn, too. I think hmm. I can just do a clean up. possible I just played a terrible blunder there. I have no idea. I hope he says this variant stalemates um, a lot. I completely disagree. I have never seen Oh, it's going to play bishop c3. Why did I play that? Go, go, go. Oh, better watch this pawn. This might here. be okay. I'm playing with fire, guys. Uh oh. Um, He's trapped me out. A king over. Push. Okay, so I have to take that. King out. Okay, so I'm okay. I'll just run with my king. So and if he gives me one more game. tempo. Let's just start no, I can't take G7. Taking G7. You should not have reserved dark square games, didn't you? Ah, listen? right. I'm going to use these pawns to defend these pieces. Okay. Of Bishop and knight to defend this well, area. let's prepare to sack oh, stuff. Queen's going to go nom, 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 and in. Just in time to give up my queen. Oh no, I don't want to give up my queen. I'll move here. Yeah, this will work. And then oh, that's kind of bad. Oof. Um, this is really, if you're if in doubt, if you're like, I don't know who's going to win this, then so... the pieces are going to win. Because it's just really difficult for the pawns to, to really force a promotion that doesn't get captured. Mm. But if you think the pawns are going to win, then the pieces still will probably win. But sometimes you're like, these I have pawns to take are definitely that. winning. And that's when the pawns win. That's terrible. Okay, okay, so I'm playing pawns this game. I have won two games and lost one. We are going to take... No, we're not going to take. That'd be dumb. We're going to advance in the middle, because the middle is the most important part of the board. Let's refresh this page and just not refresh that page. Let's refresh the tournament and see who's leading. We've got DV Razor taking the lead with four wins in a row. Todovsky taking three wins in a row. He's probably finishing up his fourth win right now. Le Music also with three wins. We've got a loss on Solal, but all of these guys are looking good. There's Zug at it coming in. It's going to be fun to see how he does because you know how what a good player he is. Very good. In case you're wondering, Zug at it. Good player. So I'm going to close this up even though I lose... Even though I lose, um, I capture this way. Oh, I could have, I shoot, I let C1 queen happen. I wasn't looking. It's hard to say that. C1 queen would have been decisive. Um, I'm losing two pawns to a piece, but I am getting it a bit more closed. Zvish. Who is this Zvish? He's from Kazakhstan. Very dubious. Nice, Fianchetto. That's a new idea for me. Very good one. Let's start bringing this up. Don't rush it. I find with the pawns, I'm like, I need to break through right here. And I focus on an area, and that's not the right idea as the pawns, because then the other areas are left behind a little bit. So instead, you need to keep your bulwark everywhere, if that's a word. If it's not a word, you should not keep your bulwark anywhere. This is a great move, I think. Pawn up, queen has to move, pretty safe. That's more like it. I think I'll leave these pawns where they are. When he captures, then I'm pulled forward a little more, which I like. So everything looks pretty safe here. 
I'm just loving this advanced D pawn. I think that's going to be a critical asset to my pawn team. Push now, attacking queen. Let's, yeah, push now, attacking queen. If take, then I take, and I'm still okay with D5 coming. So I'm going to do that. I love pushing queens around. Oh, look, I trapped his queen. Oh, how pleasant. I trapped his queen. I think that's going to be quite an asset later in the game when he doesn't have a queen. Quite an asset. Ooh, back to Wow. Checker strategy. Okay. Forward. That's a thought. Uh, Maybe if you just put all your pawns in the same color. That was crazy. You lose twice as fast. That's my theory. Man. For those of you just that was not easy. Playing in the Horde Chess Tournament. It's called the Chess Whiz Cup, and there is a... All right, we got a Berserker on our hands. It is 0.1 Bitcoin, so join so, this tournament right now. There's only one appropriate response the to the Berserk, Actually, you saw and that's the Berserk. Of the time <laughs> of the chat. But um, you definitely want to join this tournament. It's in the tournament section of lichess.org slash tournaments, and right now, oh, it's called the Perry Arena, apparently. Uh, so you want to play in the Perry Arena. It currently has 76. Oh, shoot. I should have played H5. So that's how to get in on the action. I'm going to close this as usual. My pawn strategy yeah, is... Yeah, the whole to capture toward it. the center thing is kind of overrated. Close, close, close. Just I'll break a bit. it up a little bit later after these, after these uh, pawns get a little more advanced. I'm feeling really good about my pawns now that he has no queen, but don't rest just yet. They could get ugly. You never want to feel comfortable with the pawns because one breakthrough and you are finished. Okay. Yeah. The whole point is that I want to get these rook pawns it's moving. Two moves to hit e5. He can't just All about the rook pawns. King out of the way, which is the time I need. Oh, that was nice. That really froze me up. To get that guy up there. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have allowed a4. Okay, let's close this. Oh, I can't close it just yet. Oh, no, now I lose that pawn. Oh, I should have. I'm safe because he didn't notice. Should should protect that and then push. My goal is actually to just get all my pawns past his pawns. I'm not really trying to capture anything here. I'm just trying to go for the touchdown, if you know what I mean, Sunday, Monday. Just going for the touchdown. Only two pawns on this file is kind of sad. This is actually going to be um, <clears throat> a kind of a bind against this pawn. I'm going to put two attackers on it. Capture toward the center is probably smart. Can you do en passant? Yes, the chess player. Yes, you can do en passant as either player. You simply cannot check the black player, which is more important than you would think, because white never has a move that black has to respond to, whereas black can say, check, and then, you know, you have to get out of check. You've got that king. It's actually a liability. But it's also a great asset in stopping the enemy pawns. It's also very useful. <clears throat> So I'm still feeling good about this position. Yeah, this so now I, uh, I kind of invited that. Side. Giving up the center was not a bad, or not a good move. Is F4 um, safe? I think so. But maybe I should actually push here. No, take, take. No, it's okay. Anyway, any, yeah. So I'm concerned. Yeah, I'll just let it happen. <clears throat> I'm concerned that uh, when I protect this guy, then this guy's unprotected. But he can advance. He, he can't attack both at once. His rook either attacks one or the other. It's troll chess. Troll no old chess, King Fornor. You're right. This is totally troll chess. It really is not horde chess. It's horde chess. Yes, because there are so many pawns. And he is getting crushed now. I really don't see a way for him to avoid the pawn steamroller coming down here on the king side. It is absolutely devastating. Just going to keep wiggling these pawns up a little bit more. You know, you don't, by the way, you you do want to get them off the back rank because once they're here, then they can move two squares at a time. But you don't have to move them again once they're there. Let's go this way, which seems potent. Because they can go two squares. So, so advancing all these guys one square actually limits my options because they can no longer move backwards and they can move forwards. He's preparing a sacrifice on this pawn, but look at that! Wait, this one, right? Which one? Either one. Either one, because I capture with check. These in-between moves are so, so difficult for white. So now I've just leapt a pawn past him. <laughs> oh, this is getting worse and worse for Zvich. Better and better for Chess Whiz. 
Come on, guys. Let's, let's take a look at the tournament now. Jim Cube with five wins in a row. Impressive, Jim Cube 27. Very impressive. Do I take that? Did he capture something? Let's look. No, he didn't. Okay, then I'll ignore it. Let's just keep advancing over here. Okay. Um, <laughs> this yeah, apparently like, taking me, the center is useful too. Help me. That's what it's like. But I have bad news for you, Bishop. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to crush you. Yeah, there's just not enough pieces to stop the impending dude, Jack. And I think that's going to be checkmate. <clears throat> checkmate. Good game, and I'm taking a win. These games are long, as you can see, guys. It takes a long time to capture all those pawns or to break through. So that means you got to play pretty quickly, but also this tournament is a race. <laughs> Whoever gets the most wins in the time, which is now one hour and four minutes, is the winner. So if you play fast games, you're doing a lot better. Bad luck to Hut Govi. I am sorry about your loss. That's really going to... Whoops. Here you are. Really going to set you back. I Probably because you were, were berserking right there and berserking right there. You probably berserked yourself into a loss. That's going to cost you because with all of these players... I mean, look at this right now. Look at this. There's a lot of people in this tournament and a lot of people who dropped out. Um, so you really need a good win streak in order to win this tournament. Zug Addict is pulling through. He's now tied for first, I believe. <clears throat> Let's go take a look. Let's play chess. Should I push here? I'm going to stick with my plan of keeping the center. Hi, Kobe. Not sure what that is. Looks like I lost a game. Um, what's going on? Kesu is confused. I keep taking the center. Let's go back to the tournament. Did I lose a game? A second game by not doing anything? I think I did. Oh, I forfeited a game by not being at the chessboard. I was so at the chessboard. I can't believe you're saying I'm not at the chessboard because I was at the chessboard. That's going to cost me for sure. I probably won't win my own tournament now, but that's okay. I mean, hey, this is for all you guys anyway. Let's go back to the tournament. So that loss, yeah, it's true it's a loss, but I'm going to go out on a winner. Is going to have a perfect score because we still got one, two, three, four five players with perfect scores. All they need to do... Okay, this HP 2007, he knows what he's doing. Which is rolling the sides of the board. I think it's time to roll the center. Here. Oh yeah! This G3 square is critical. Critical. Because... He can't hit it with his king. This is not a queen. That's why. That's why b3 is not as interesting. He. I ignored the huge glowing button. You're right, Ornakar. <laughs> ha! I needed you to make fire. Take my bishop. Of that. Rainbows and kittens. If you had done that, I wouldn't have ignored it. This is your fault. Okay. <clears throat> so now we finally got this way, one open file. This is going to start looking like a checkerboard. I'm going to capture um, this way. Because I don't want to be so locked up over here. His queen can hit this pawn. If I capture this way, then I can't push here. Does that make sense, guys? I want to push g4 so that he can't <coughs> slip past me. Oh, this is epic. This is just epic. I'm going to go back and ignore the big button again. Okay, I want to push one of these, certainly. I think I have to push this one, but I really want to push this one because it's a pass pawn. Problem is he take take takes and I Okay, so I can here. go after the C seven pawn. But the pass pawn is so um, valuable. And apparently all the pawns on this diagonal are free game. I think I'm gonna push this one. Because that way I don't lose a pawn. It's probably better. <clears throat> I've got plenty of defenders here. Is this on chess.com also asks Capsburger. No, actually, this chess variant cannot be played anywhere on the internet. There is one little Java applet where you can play against a bad AI, but I tried so hard to get Java installed, and Java is like a bad cup of coffee. It would not install on my computer properly enough for me to even play it. So I found nowhere online where you could play this variant. 
but I did find somewhere in my house. I found someone named Chesmiz in my house, and I played against him, and I played against him a lot because uh, I had to put the right number of pawns on. I actually invented this number of pawns. The the variant of horde chess on Wikipedia looks like this, and it's horrible for the pawns. It looks like that up there because there's no pawns back here, and there's just two on this rank. It's really bad for the pawns player. <clears throat> That was the critical move to hold c whoops to hold c4 i'll just keep advancing i really want to advance my g pawn but i have to play this first to hold f4 i'm really interested to see if zygotic wins this tournament because he's just such a strong player and we're looking at him five wins five wins but there's a lot of other players with five wins so so it should be good yeah don't push yet He's going to sacrifice here. He's going to sacrifice right here. So let's keep that in mind. I think I have to let him do it. If I push, he just sacrifices here, and it's even harder, I think. Take, take, queen takes, but I play f5, and his queen is totally trapped out. Yeah, actually, I'll push here. Take, take, queen takes, f5. I have 1 minute 36 seconds. This is a hard variant, for sure, just because it takes so many moves. So many moves to play a game. And as black, one false step, and the opponent is just eating all your pawns. And as white, you just feel crushed the whole game. You're like, I stole many pawns. <laughs> it's tough. Definitely tough. Okay, so now I bring up a defender. I am feeling good about my position right now because I've got some pretty advanced pawns here. Haven't lost anything. Actually, he still has all his major pieces. He hasn't traded any of them for two pawns each here so I'm feeling very confident here it's remarkably difficult for whichever color you are <clears throat> I want to watch the addict's game let's see what he's doing whoops I'm watching him uh, currently playing one there it is get back to my game waiting for opponent get back to his all game. right oh this is definitely an interesting win win game, win Zygotic. You have 25 seconds, and you can lose. I think you're going to lose. That's yeah, I'm exciting. not going to berserk. Wow. Not at this point. Um, but I need to focus here. I only have a minute left. Oh, no, I'm going to lose this. Oh, he could take d3. I recapture, and then queen into the middle. That would have been so painful. And now I'm hearing Zygotic's game, so I better close his tab, because otherwise I will be so distracted by the sounds. So now that I'm holding there, still looking good. These are a little fragile up here. Oh, they're too fragile. Look, he takes with knight. Oh, oh good, he doesn't. Should I, should I defend and just let him pass? I, over, I overextended myself, I think. If I let him pass, he takes here, then here, then here, then here. His bishop just destroys me. So I think maybe I should... I should let him. I should let him trade a piece for two pawns. Oh, thank you. A URL to watch all of Zug Addict's games. Is he streaming himself too? Let's take a look. He's not on the homepage, so that's cool for me because I'm the only person on the. One homepage. thing I'm learning is that closed positions somewhat favor the horde. This is critical. And by somewhat, so I mean um, really there is no word Bad luck that translates to somewhat in that case. From Italy. Um, because like a, chess right there. Because a closed position a is a complete win for the horde. Don't berserk. That's what I've learned. Because two it's minutes is not, not even a contest. Is what you need. I advanced e7, so I could go to um, six. I feel so bad about that. Um, that abandoned game that gave me a lot. Just to be safe, let's protect this h8 pawn. Uh, HP 2007. I'll ignore that move, and you're out of time. Wow, he's marking time. Right now. Good game. I will HB. definitely uh, accept him marking time. You are playing. Yep. Join the game. Okay, so I need to click the big glowing button. Got it. I'm fighting Yanez here, and I'm going to play the same idea. Focus on G3. I'm really interested to see if Zug lost that game, so let's take a look at that link here. Link. Um, it opened in the wrong tab. Oh, no, I can't. I don't dare do that. Copy link. Copy link address. The future is so great. Um, paste and go, right? New tab. There we are. <clears throat> There's Zygadic's game. Oh, it's over. Now he's fighting a Shermit. Um, 
mean, this is my game. This is so confusing. It's even worse for you guys because you're not clicking around like I am. Close that up. I am playing two games at once. Leave this one. They're both the same screen. Let's go back to the tournament view. And we have Zug Attic took a loss. Oh, he was playing the pawns and he lost. I'm going to use that as a clue to say that it's hard for the pawns. Push. Let's bring up some defense for this here. I should probably have played h4. Yeah, this could be a mistake. Is it a good idea to trade two pieces, two pawns for a piece? A piece for two pawns in this variant. HP2007 wants to know, is it a good idea to trade your piece for two pawns? The answer is a resounding yes. Unfortunately, you often can't. If you could trade a knight for two pawns or a bishop for two pawns, just do that a couple of times. Ooh, free pawn. Oh, he's, he's hammering against this guy here. Very clever. But what if I ignore that? Using my clever ignorer, if I bring up this defense, then the rook gets in. Ooh, you're so smart. I guess I should just ignore. Well, this is pretty cool. Now take, bishop um, takes, take, queen takes d5, then I just push here. I think I'm okay. Let's try it. He does trade a piece for two pawns. Maybe I do need to gambit my a4 pawn. Um, I think I have to take that. Yeah, so there goes the a... Oh, shoot. There goes c4. Oh, but this is a4 this I is meant to gambit. c4 yes. I didn't. Um, this is really good. <clears throat> For the pawns, I think I just have to play smartly because I do have that protected passer over there. Uh, can I take that for free? Is that safe? I'm going to lose it for sure, but I'm going to... Yeah, I won't actually. Because I would lose some of these pawns up here. And losing your most advanced pawns is the bomb, the bad bomb. Oh, that's a good move. Just like in last game, it's still good. What do I advance now? I think I need to be very patient. If I rush forward in any area, that's bad. I'll be weak in another area. Interesting results here. We've got Modulo, Goldilocks, Todovsky, and Jim Q27 all vying for first place. Very, very close with Fandis Sport and the others not far behind. So now can I play B5? Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, rook takes. Oh, that's just really really tears me apart over there, so I'm not going to do that. Just continue being patient. Let's view that tournament one more time. So many pods. Oh yeah, it updates all this stuff. This stuff is still not dynamic, Tebow. I can't believe you haven't made this section dynamic. What I mean to say is, thank you for this um, excellent website, Mr. Tebow. I would like it if you made it dynamic, eventually. Okay, so that's going to tie down the queen say, for an instant. I'll make it dynamic. Where's the source code? Um, because really, if it's not dynamic, it's my fault. Take here, and he gets that one. Push, and he gets that one, but I think I've got more where that came from. Let's do it. Oh, which way do I capture now? this advanced pawn is really useful. It's a passer, and this guy over here is not a pass pawn. What is one pawn worth for black? Ah, this right, I like forgot you have that move. Say. A pawn is... Um, that's a good question. You don't want to give up a, two pawns for a piece, so it's worth at least one and a half, strangely. But you wouldn't think, wow, a pawn is worth so much. I mean, you got so many of them, why do you need... So do I need to push this right now, or just soon? I think now. Because I can't, I want to get these back rank guys out, which means I want to get these guys out. Oh, I guess I should have waited. I should move both of these one square, and then both of these one square. That's probably what I should do. It's gonna ah, shoot. One. Bug, Zug, one is the pieces on Berserk, says mine, mine dragon. Victory! <laughs> okay. That's possibly not the most accurate win. I want to get these back rank pawns um, So anything to get them up to the seventh rank, because from there they can launch forward two squares. They're going to be very powerful. Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. 
think I have to capture here. So I push, you take that. So this is going really well for Yanez. I do not have very advanced pawns. I do not have things locked down. Ah, ah, e5. That's e5 is awesome. a good reinforcement. You can trade a rook for two pawns. Even that um, is good for him because he's hmm. really close to breaking through. Uh, so I want to get my pawns as advanced as possible. As advanced as possible before that happens. Push to take. Yeah, this is this is looking really tough for me. Fortunately, clock's getting low, and that's where Chesswiz has the edge. Chesswiz definitely it does better when there is no time. So, okay, so now we're gonna. He's moved his bishops, so we're gonna try to push through this direction. I have just enough pawns to keep things hairy for him. So I think in his last minute, he's gonna suffer from not enough time. It's usually what happens in the last minute of anything particularly your life. Keep things closed, you pawn players. Keep the position closed. If things open up, even trading a rook for two pawns, it's a powerful play for white. Because once there's an open line, he just starts eating those pawns. So om nom. <clears throat> So this is a difficult problem, but I don't have any time to think about it. I think, think I've got, I still have a lot of pawns on open files, so it's gonna be the time game. Just have to remember, time game. First castling I've seen in this variant. Congratulations, Yanez, for the first castling. Ooh, barely. Oh no, I don't want to give up that pawn. I probably should. Oh, it's a time game. Just just don't. Yeah, just move instantly. I mean, I have so many pawns, and I can't be checked, so I can pre-move anywhere. This is such an advantage for pawns. Look at this. <clears throat> he cannot check me. So you're out of time, Yanez. He, meanwhile, has to make the right moves. I can make any move, and the opponent runs out of time. That's bad. what I manage the pawns. <laughs> I am now playing I've got a bad position. UIED. Uh, Ooh, just winning with those pawns over and over. Okay. I'm going to crush Well, hopefully this will relieve some of the pressure, Oops. but uh, this is not good lot. at all. I want to get that bishop out of there right now. I'm going to um, get something that will do that for me. Let me check the tournament now. How are we doing? Modulo. Goldilocks Knight takes for two. a draw. Oh, Knight Goldilocks. That's going to cost okay. you. Still 47 minutes. Um, Got Modulo, Hut, Govi, Todovsky all undefeated. Well, there's a hole right there. Oh, if I hadn't missed my game, I would have done so much better. Oh, this hang on. Up this file pretty the king good. is a good piece for farming pawns. And then I'm actually going to just try to crack um, this pawn. I'm going to give up a bunch of stuff in order to crack it. I think this might be smart. Because sitting behind a pawn... If I could somehow get my king behind on new lines, that would be the ideal situation. Now, work on... Work on the king side. Yeah, this is just going to be brutal. Um, Watch me dig out his king side like this. Watch this. Oh, I can't break through now. So clever. Take, take, take. Queen up. Oh, he's pretty locked down. I'm going to do it. Trading anything for two pawns is a good idea. I mean, look how frozen he is down here. Oh, I'm getting in. Oh, no, Rise UID. You, I can't even say your name. Are you a universally independent educational director? Because that's what it looks like to me. <clears throat> Should I close this up? No, I think captures are always good. Free things. It's going to take me like 40 moves to capture all these pawns. I exaggerate a little bit, but it's going to take a lot of moves, so I better get started. Actually, I'd better eat this side of the board. It's the more dangerous looking side. So let's go take these pawns. Yeah, this is what happens if the pieces get crazy. 
oh, I shouldn't have taken that pawn. Now he can kind of run for it. Kind of, not really. It's the best shot you got there, but it's just not a not a good enough shot. Getting destroyed. Look at that. Chess was winning with pawns and pieces. I love it. This means this game is totally balanced because no matter which side Chespas is, he wins. That is the epitome of balance right there. Loving it. Okay, let's go take some more things. Let's sacrifice a little bit here. Make sure nothing bad happens on this side of the board. I might be cooked here, guys. Uh, this is so easy for the pieces. If you break through, it's not even close. Just have to not blunder, not pre-move anything. There we go. There we go. There's the win. Chess Wiz with another win. Maybe I can still win the tournament. That hole cost me eight points. Never mind. So I, I forgot the B2 was hanging. Points. And then if I win... Um, if, I, if I would have yeah. the tournament being able to take B2 entirely changes that evaluation. Okay, E3. I, I, for a long time, I favored, you know, pawn A4, pawn H4 kind of stuff. But now I'm all E3 up in here because I like to use my bishops on center sacrifices. I think black wants to take center as much as possible. If these two pawns started okay. out here, if they started in this square, I tested it that way as well, and they would be, they really, it really, really, really helps to have that. It's a major edge to have those two pawns forward. So my conclusion was black should move those two pawns forward. So you black players, what you should do is... Oh, play I'm curious. Zug Addict was playing in this tournament. That really strengthens your chances. I think that in order to so play, you it's have to have this ability to uh, right, be decisive, and I don't know that, um, from the rook. like, this seems, good. this seems like a very difficult game to be very decisive in all the time. Again, I want to tear him up on the king um, side. Uh, I can only imagine how Zug's games went. I have really to check them out after the stream. Uh, so queens that can attack a pawn that can't really advance. But I imagine they're probably the most comical board chess game down ever. Different areas of the board. Black can't um, move any pawn here, or he'll lose. The, the, then you know the opponent will break through, and he can't move any pawn over here. And once he's locked down everywhere, he can't pass. So he has to move something, and that's when he, that's when he meets his end. Okay. Wait, I have to move my queen away. I was sat considering rook takes g5, and I forgot that I just have to move the queen. I think that's smart. Um, okay, who needs the rook? Oh, I have queen h4. Oh, I blundered. Oh, I should have taken on h4. Oh, but I've got this one. Yeah, there's so many holes in your Pawn position. Pawn hanging. Chessex. Many holes. And this is a fork. One. Can't play it outside the tournament. I don't know if you can play the variant outside the tournament yet. If you can't now, you can soon. It's being added to the website. Oops! Oh, what a blunder! I just blinked to myself as I as I. Oops. Okay, I don't know how nice I need to be in, with my moral victory to myself. If I need to say, okay, I'm adding eight, eight points and I'm adding a queen right here because that, I just assumed he's going to advance so that I could eat and advance so that I could eat. And why would he do that? I don't really know. I guess he wouldn't, but for some reason my brain said that's what he'll do. Now it's not over yet, even though I just traded a queen for a pawn, which is a common choice for chess whiz. Common, common decisions. Even though I just did that, it's still not over because I was getting some excellent breakthroughs here. I think this is pretty rough though, just two rooks. I'm gonna double up. 
<clears throat> that's going to freeze this pawn. If it advances, I sacrifice a rook. And if the C pawn advances, then I sacrifice a rook. So that freezes both of these guys. Which yeah, double pawns are a big no-no in this game. Not sure of it, though. He might break um, something on the key You want to undouble your pawns as frequently here. as possible. Oh, I should have done bishop takes. Well, no, the bishop's serving useful role here, too. Um, I guess not. Only I had a rook on the C file, then I could take. And it's too late now. I have to do bishop takes, else like hmm. promotion threats might get me. Way to break this guy? Um, might be. <laughs> o plus one horde chess. And you know, actually, I've got to make an AI for this. I, I think that would be hilarious. Switching over to this lane now. Uh, this pawn is helping to. Oh, mine is not good gravy! Lose what a game mess! Game, not necessarily. Uh, okay. Does I've almost got a two thousand horde chess rating. <clears throat> Dude, I can get I can get the Lee Chess Master title in horde chess, maybe. Uh, oh yeah! Rook to the back. Probably right? not, but maybe. Oh, you never so know. Okay, what do I capture now? This is critical. The next few moments are critical. This way. Yeah, I am losing. <laughs> Come on. Hold. Okay. Rook is needed to hold this area. King is needed to hold this area, so I'm toast. I don't have anything but rook and king. Meanwhile, he'll make a third area for me. Take, push, take. Ah, I can't do that. Take, push, over. I could take this one and then get back, but that's just one pawn. It's not going to cut it. Mm, that's not going to work, though, because of e5. Well, I don't want to play defensively. I'm in trouble because <laughs> uh, I'm playing defensively. So certainly he will find a way to break through, but maybe not. Yeah, but you didn't see that. Of course he should push, but don't tell him. Tell him, don't tell him. But if he pushes, it'll be pretty tough. Oh, but he doesn't push. 20 seconds to play the entire rest of the game now. Oh, nice move. Nice! Oh, I'm crushed. Wow, brilliant. I didn't see that, but now I'm, I'm destroyed. GG, chess sucks. I think you're pretty good when I trade my queen for a pawn. That was beautiful. Let's fight Mandeep in this another game, playing the pieces. Yeah, letting my rook to the first rank is a big, big no-no. Capture um, okay. Capture towards center. So, my okay, winning so my chances just went up C4. exponentially there. Continually attack C4 uh, until it cracks. Should be pretty strong. Let's check the standings in the tournament. Todovsky still undefeated. Okay. Well, I can't here. Todovsky allow. Undefeated in the tournament with Zug at it close behind with just one loss. We kind of saw a picture of that loss earlier in the stream. I can't allow him to get a protected pass on. That would be doom. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Goldilocks uh, with the loss. Oh, a draw okay, loss. Expose my bishop. There. Hutt Govi is really stumbling a little bit. And DV Razor. Matsisti. These guys have good streaks, so they have a shot at jumping ahead, but it's a really narrow chance. It's a really difficult um, to catch up. With this many leaders all undefeated, they all have to stumble for you to catch up. So that's going to be difficult for them. Oh, this was silly. You know, he can just push, right? But I'm going to give up a bishop for that right away. I don't know if that's smart, but this kind of keeps the... Yeah. This kind of keeps the pawns out of the 6th rank, which keeps me a lot healthier. Pawn exchanges are bad for black. Game per frame. You're wrong. Uh, and that's not the first time you've been wrong. You were wrong once when you were actually a lot younger. But now you're wrong right now. Because pawn exchanges are bad for black. And I know this because I've...
tested this a lot. Um, because if black opens up lines with trades, then black just gets crushed. Um, and the reason is that something gets behind pawns. Pawn okay, now we're pawns. feeling so confident here. If behind them, then they're really in big trouble. Until um, now, so things have been so keep really, so really dicey. And my plan actually but is, at this point, right here, um, I'm gonna get a great, things are much great less dicey than before. Oh, and he resigns. Well, side. okay, that's convenient. If I just don't trade my queen for a pawn like I did last game, um, it'll be great. I'm actually going to sacrifice a rook, which should do it. Black should also have a king. I totally disagree. The whole point is that it's a horde. It's not... I mean, if black had a king, this would just be like a from position chess game. That would be boring. We have a chess variant with no king at all. That is more like it. That is chess whiz cup worthy. Oh, I'm really, I'm really interested to see how Zagatic is doing, but I have to do this without failing myself. Okay, Zagatic, let's see your currently playing game. Oh, you're playing the pieces. I think you're doing great in this game. You're going to do a couple of trades in this area. Oh, hey, I got Chesswiz observing my game. Nabovsky's doing, because I think he's the other tournament. At least he was there for a second. I don't know why. He's playing pause against Dimitri. It's just started. But, yeah, for that instance where he was actually observing the game, you could observe him on my stream. I'm sorry, you could observe my stream observing him observing my game. Just for a brief instant there. big chances to win are... Whoops, that's the wrong page. Let's go back to the tournament. Chances to win are... Modulo in first place. If he doesn't trip, he wins. And Le Musik. These four guys, I think, are are gunning for first. Take that. I'm actually going to take so that I can speed my breakthrough over here. This might not be the most it's accurate more, game of four chess ever. To spend more time. I want. Wow. This is like a race now. It's really strange how sometimes this game is like a race where white just wants to capture everything as fast as possible before black. This is like a zerg rush, as as basically. But usually, it's not a race, and you need to keep that in mind as the black player specifically. If you have all those pawns, you are not racing in the beginning uh. of the game. Your goal is to slowly advance your wall. If you race to advance it, then you'll create weaknesses and lose. going to sit here and let the bishop stop everything. <clears throat> He's getting torn up again. Queen to the back rank. Oh, let me just... Okay, yeah, that was well played on his part. Maybe this is um, a black player. So, wave one with that G3 That's pawn. Should I go om nom some more? Om wave nom. two incoming. Let's check Modulo's game. If Modulo wins every game, then he will be the tournament champion. So that's going to be pretty cool if we have an undefeated tournament champion. Let's take a look at Modulo's account. He has been a member of Chesswiz TV since, or member of lightchess.org since July 30th. He's been a long, long time user of this website, and he has four beautiful trophies to show it. Four beautiful trophies. It's really nice. Nice quantity of trophies there. I'm going to sacrifice. No, I don't even need to. Pawn, push, push, take. Yeah, I'll just keep taking stuff. So I think he, he definitely deserves the win. Look at that. 2,000 rated bullet. He plays blitz. He doesn't play classical. Good man or correspondence. Okay, goodness. and that's and another really accurate move on champion. his part. You can see ratings over 2,000 um, in multiple variants. A little bit light on so horror, I just but, need to fortify you know, this a little bit. In fact, can I break with C4? A little bit light in the atomic. But this guy's yeah, definitely I can, a variant. Yeah, C4 just breaks through. So I can see why um, he's doing well in the tournament. Let's refresh this a little bit. See the leaderboard. The way he's taken the edge is by playing one more game than his opponents. DD Razor and Hut Govi have played equal or greater amounts, but they've got some losses. They Musi, Todovsky. Yeah, you want to play fast games so you can play more games. So watch me play this game fast and more. You should just resign, Mandeep. I'm eating you. <laughs> Lemusik is in the chat, and he's telling us that 
that I don't like him, but he's wrong. Wrong. Normally, having this much open space on the board would be terrifying for the forwards. Um, but yeah, he can't reach my back rank. Just give up, Mandeep. Do you think you're going to run me out of time? Maybe you will. This is the first time we play to the end with the pieces winning. Usually we just kind of resign. Oh, there's the resign again. So he doesn't try for a stalemate. It really doesn't work. You can't get stalemated. Chess Park is our next opponent. This is going to be fun. Please stop tabbing away from the game. Okay, I stopped now. You know what? I'm really You saw that. Play as, as the pawns. Apparently really that's the rule of board chess. You were watching closely in earlier games. I figured that one out. If you count that game against Chess Sucks, you can push the pawn two squares after having pushed it. I don't know if that's intentional or if that's me exploiting the way it was coded. Um, but yeah, I think that's possibly one of the better bugs that could possibly exist. Yeah, I'm not tapping away from the game. I'm just refreshing my page so I can see the leaderboard. Zug Addict, so close. Three points. Oh, Modulo takes another win. Another four or five points. Modulo Deadly, I can't defend d5. Burning it up. So, yeah, he actually does apply strong pressure. Good game, Mandy. But it's, it's not enough to stop the promotion GG. threat. It's tough as the pawns. You really have to be methodical as the pawns. I think that it's harder to play the pawns, actually, just because you have to be methodical as the pawns. Isn't that what I just said? Um, it's harder to play the pawns. All right, how many queens do I need before he gives up? He plays e3 now. It looks pretty good for him. Oh, good, he doesn't. This is awesome for me now. Uh, e3, opening up queen to g4, and then he sacrifices on g4. Could have been kind of difficult for me. But this is just awesome for me, because this pawn is trapped, this pawn is trapped, bishop is trapped, rook is trapped. He is cr absolutely crushed. Ab oh, it's not even close. This is just crushing. So I'll just slowly advance and crush him. You can't pronounce it. English speakers can't say the French you, according to Ornakar. Is that so? Is that so, Ornakar? Just listen. Just listen to my pronunciation. You will be blown away like a leaf in the wind. Are you ready? Yeah. What do you think? No scratching. All right, B3. I think I ignored this. Um... I think the point is that I just want to cramp the file sleeping. there. If you uh, don't believe me, you should check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, it's on YouTube. There's a movie called While You Were Sleeping, and then he says, um, remember those squirrels? <laughs> First, I knocked them out of, a nest, out of their nest with a rock. He's telling his friend, his brother, how he uh, was not the good guy that everybody thought he was. I think this push, this is just cr so crushing. And then his brother says, eh, and I'm sure he's speaking French when he says it, eh. So that's how I know that's how you pronounce it. I want to break these bonds through, let's do it. I don't dare play d3 until the right moment. I am just leaving knights everywhere. I don't care about your knights. At the right moment, I'm just going to take all your knights. Actually, I should just take that one. It sends you off to the boonies. But I want to advance these two guys one square. Wow, your knight is trapped now. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hilarious for you. This is pretty fun. Yeah, you do nothing while I bring pawns in. <clears throat> Yeah, you do nothing while I bring pawns in. Do you think... Am I safe pushing? I go safe. Uh, let, me, let me activate my F file here. I got a couple of F pawns, so if I move them all one square, then I will get this backward guy a little bit more participatory. So that's my next sequence here. There's no rush with the pawns. It's not like I'm hurrying to do anything. I'm just going to slowly... Get things I think I found a strategy here. Oh, are you going to sacrifice on there? Oh, no, no. No. Oh, man, I misplayed this. Let's see if you will. Um, okay. Well, fortunately, um, my opponent's not paying attention. Because if he were, he'd notice how wrong it was for me to 
Take that. Uh, push the pawns in the order that I pushed them. I don't know if I should take. Um. Yeah, he's actually playing this really well. I need to take this guy because otherwise he breaks here. So what should I take it with? Probably that pawn. Yeah, so there's no tricks here. I mean, I just have to uh, fiercely attempt to break through, but this I would be surprised if this works. According to Chad. Now I can push here because his book is finally off this file. I think that was a critical mistake, Chess Park. I actually think you're holding really, really well. All you need to do is play more waiting moves like bishop g7, g2, bishop f1, bishop g2, bishop f1, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But now that you've played over, I now have something I can... Oh, no! Here I am teaching you what to do, and I'm the total noob. Never mind. Never mind. I can see your plan. Sacrifice a bishop. Start going over here. Oh, hang on. I should roll my ape on. It's not clear who will uh, win this. Yeah, actually. although that convinces him to see, like, the looming threat. Um. Believe it or not, yeah, but it is not clear. His queen is several moves behind. Actually, I think I'm going to win. Look at these epic pawns. I think he's made a couple of mistakes. 35 seconds to finish it. Which way do I ca capture if he takes me? Probably this way. No, probably... Yeah, probably this yeah, way. So it looks like I'm about to lose. G4, stopping the queen from winning G3. Because he wants to take this pawn. Ooh. Push and he sacrifices his rook. Taking, he just consumes me. Push. Oh, I have so little time. Oh, he didn't sacrifice his rook. Now he's in trouble. You are in trouble. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, no, he takes here with rook, so I have to recapture. No, I don't. I promote. Yes, good thing I canceled that pre-move. There's not even much I can promote. attempt here. Okay. Um, oh, that was close. That was really close. I think the pieces probably have... Oh, hang on. I could have played d5. If the pawns um, play five would have been a more reasonable As try say, there. I played carefully, and it is brutal. This is my brutal demonstration. Just put it that way. I take that, and then I pre-move some pre-moves because I'm out of time. Time is really tough. Pre-move some more pre-moves. Let's get some queens here. I check me. Good game, Chess Park. Good game. And we're in the next game against Azrak. So the standings are now. Ooh, uh, that was quick. Capture this way. Check. I decided to take the okay. Well, Modulo, there goes game. the hopes and dreams of winning the tournament. That's too bad. Over to Modulo's current game. Um, and that was me, that was due to me making a silly yes. error. Playing black here. Hey, that could go either way. Fighting Sanitan has um, got a good rating. Good and rating. that error yeah, was definitely... breaking from the pattern yeah, that I had done every previous game of pushing the pawns in the correct order. And in that game I pushed them in the wrong order and it just kills me. This is going to be a tough game. Uh, it's difficult as... Difficult as the pawns. I thought I discovered something new, and truly I did, but it was not what I had hoped to discover. But it is not impossible as the pawns, <clears throat> as we just saw. I oh, I wait, wish. I can't do queen a1. There's a bishop in the way. I'll advance here. Take advantage uh, of I can do knight b3, though. Whoa! Okay, that's good for you. I guess I didn't notice that. This is really good for you. Okay. Um, 
No, nope, really, not really good for you, Azarak. Uh, you are beating me. I should have pushed G3 while I had the chance. I don't know. We'll play Knight A5. It's probably wrong. Yeah, this game is not out there. People asking in the chat uh, where I can practice this variant. Uh, the answer is now. You can practice it on lechess.org. It's going to be an official variant there. Other than that, you can't really... I need to defend this pawn, so... I just have to take not happy about that at all. Now it's defended. Uh, you can't really find anywhere on the internet to play it, and now lechess.org is the home of Horde of Chess. You can play it here. This is the place. Okay, how are we doing? Let's take a look. Oh, nice sacrifice right there. I can't not take it, but you are almost broken through. I have to block that. I think I can hold Okay, Whoa. so we have achieved Whoa. some sort of stasis where ain't nothing moving. Wow. Some peace sacrifices making things interesting. I am one pawn away from not being able to hold this area. But hey, that's still one pawn. It's not over yet. This is tough. This is very tough. If he gets his queen to this back rank, guys, I am so destroyed. It's like, ow. Because pawns cannot defend anything on the back rank. I think I push. No, it's going to open it up. That's not good. I, I think I'm due, but let's let's make take a let's make a best effort here. Oh good. That helps me. Oh, I do lose this pawn because I should have thought that through. Oh, uh, that it is really a really helps me to get a pawn that's advanced that far. I have to advance this pawn here. That's not oh, a board. Oh, good. Yes, I can close that up too. I think this is beneficial for me. Okay. Having some closed area here, having this protected passer. Now I just need to utilize the C and D files right here. This file and this file. That's my only shot because I'm not breaking through over here. Okay. And I'm not doing anything here and I can't do enough here. Yeah, whatever. We'll preserve it. I have to move something. That's actually a Keep the hopes and dreams alive if we can. Pass. So if he just but I don't think that's going to be happening. But you never know. I should take that. Yeah, I should take that. So this is my only shot is these two files. I got the approval from Ace Move for this variant. I like it. I like the Ace Move stamp of approval has been achieved for this variant. I'm thrilled to receive it. It's definitely not your typical variant. It's very, it's kind of very slow and strategic because it's a lot of chess moves, and it's kind of frustrating no matter who you play. Because as black, as soon as a piece gets in there and starts taking your pawns, you're like, "This is stupid," and you defenestrate your computer. But as white, the pawns just advance and advance and advance, and you never feel like you're actually playing chess the whole time. You just feel like you're underneath one of those machines that goes as it drops uh -oh. down the gravel. I shouldn't so have done that. Not a pleasant experience. Uh, on which side yeah. of the stick you're living on? But yeah, allowing him to out. take or play d3 there could have been crushing. Um, is this Chess Network? Ask Phobos five thirty one. No, Chess Network is a chess stream that is not this chess stream. I need to so, use guess. better discretion when guess, moving. This is Chess with TV. We broadcast twice a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays at three p.m. GMT. And it's pretty fun, because uh, we do all kinds of weird things, such as this chess variant. <laughs> you can find recordings... In that category, on my rook belongs on the edge of the board, board. He broke through already, not anywhere else. Work to do, because it's possible. The music dropped out. Let's take a look at the tournament one more time. Tournament view. Modulo, DD Razor, Goldilocks hanging in there with his loss and draw. He's being very persistent. Todovsky with a loss, breaking his streak. Zada, Zag Addict was, oh, ouch, taking a draw right there. So really, Modulo is looking like he's going to take it. I have to take this. 15 minutes left. Overtime hype. That's right. Oh, look, this is Chesswiz TV overtime. I still have a shot, but it's a very narrow shot. 
It's based on the fact that his king is here, so I could check him. There's that. Also, he's low on time. So I could combine those facts to maybe get something going here. It's going to take him a long time to mop this up. Oh, I think I've got something with this pawn. Hey, because it's going to take him like four better to preserve than not to this preserve. Guy guards, this 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 guy. That's six uh, moves before he starts sweating. Meanwhile, his queen is out of the action. Yeah. Yeah, these pawns are doing it, baby. I think he had, he was okay. He just had to keep his queen back there um, and help defend instead of take some stuff. Good game, Azarak. You were really close. You did a great job breaking through on the queen side. I really felt like you had me. You simply needed if to. I could just get to the corner. Yep, let the queen That would be awesome. Oh, I'm playing. Apparently, I should click on the big glowing thing. Fighting user incognito. You were good. You were good. You just had to, you just had to hold with your queen instead of running off in the corner. My opponent is away. My opponent is gone. I win. Am I on the list here? Yeah, I'm down here with 26. Well, that's not too bad. DB Razor jumps into first place. Wow. A Russian player. That's cool. I don't know him. Ooh, Le Austin fighting Zug Addict. What should I start with now? E3. I'm pretty happy with E3. Or just since 1966. Well, that was a pretty epic brain fart. That's going to cost me a that rope. That's a great username. Um, gonna crack unless I can find a cheaper like piece to say I and then hitting uh, it with looks like that costs case, this me a I hit it with pawns, I hit it with bishop through this way, and I just try to break it. We're hearing echoes, that's not good. 14 minutes left in the tournament. <clears throat> DB Razor and Modulo are really, really close here in this tournament. Let's take one more look at that. We see Goldilocks close behind despite a loss here. Nice. A draw here. Apparently, my opponent couldn't take the heat. DB Razor taking oh, we got Zwish. On, but look at that. They're throwing the Berserk. We got 14 11 rated Zwish. Row, winning every time. Um, and he's playing my opening. And here he is playing another Berserk game. You can see him playing the white pieces here with a breakthrough. Modulo just one point ahead of him playing the pawns. Um, DB Razor in first place right now. And he's in trouble. You can see him with the pawns there. And you can see that rook breaking through on the. <laughs> King side, I almost said queen side there. Good thing I didn't. Almost made a fool of myself. So those are some close games. I think DV Razor is in trouble in that game. I think his opponent is going to break through. Let's see who he's playing. Um, he's playing against King K -K. and that and there he is breaking through right now. So I think DV Razor is going to lose that game, which is going to put Modulo in first place. Which, with just 13 minutes left in the tournament, I'm going to say that that's probably decisive. I think Modulo or Goldilocks is going to win. Todovsky, 10 points behind, lost his winning streak. It's going to be difficult for him, no doubt about it. I'm hey, we're ahead of Zug Addict. <laughs> That's probably the only kind of tournament in which this will happen. So let's live it up a little bit. Cost him. <clears throat> Meanwhile, here I'm just tearing apart these pawns. I mean, this is really good for white. Really good. Because I have traded well. I wonder how many times this wild. tournament Zug got Zugged. Um. Oh, he pushes again. That's not okay. Now I'm good. Now if he pushes, I trade my bishop for two pawns, and if he doesn't, I trade my bishop for two pawns. This is really good. If he played c3, <clears throat> I'd be kind of in trouble. I would actually take that with bishop, so that he doesn't cement anything in place. But he couldn't play that. Just tearing up the pawns. That's what players do in this variant. Ace Move says, with 10 minutes left in the tournament, you should focus on those two players and watch their games. I agree, Ace Move. That's a great idea because this tournament has a cash prize, sort of. It has a Bitcoin prize, which is a lot like cash. It's like internet money 
that can be transferred from person to person without the use of a bank. So you don't have to sign up for anything. You can just install an app on your phone and it's a decentralized network. So that's pretty cool. I'm giving a prize of 0.1 Bitcoins to the winner, which is about 25 or $30 in US dollar terms. So it's not, yeah, it's not a lot of money. I mean, if you're gonna spend an hour and a half playing chess online, then that's an hour and a half spent earning $25. That's pretty good wage, not the best, not the worst. But you got to play chess online to do it, so that's pretty cool. So it's better. It's still pretty good. So definitely want to focus on. Oh, uh oh, focus uh oh, shit. Crap. Um. With Berserk now tied for DVD I didn't see that. Obviously. These last ten minutes are critical. Uh. Super exciting. I'm going to. I don't want to cancel. Move my king. Okay. Well. I think I got in. What co recovery could there be from that? Um, it's so painful when the enemy queen moves to the back rank. Oh, that was cool. I got so many rooks though. If anything ever gets to the touchdown zone, I just take it with a rook. Doesn't even matter. Get my king out of the way. I mean, I do not want to be checked any more than I have to. This looks good. DV Razor takes the win according to chat. And now he's in his next game. That's amazing. I am amazed he won that game. It looked like he was going to lose it. Are these pawns causing me a problem? I still think they're not. Just Like I said, just take whatever promotes. Excuse me. Way too much here for him. For me, I kind of like it actually. Let's take this stuff. Oh, I don't want to stalemate him, so better take these from behind. If I did the wrong move, he might have no moves, and that would be a draw. Razor one on time. Nice. Yeah, that's a pretty good way to win. Very close to a stalemate, but not quite. The first game I played where all the pawns are captured. Goodbye, Horde Chess since 1966. And so now I'm going to leave the tournament with Draw, which gives a win to Dolg. Congratulations, Dolg. You got the win. Because we're going to focus in these last eight minutes of the cast on the final two winners, or three, perhaps, Modular. We're going to follow these three. Maybe Todovsky coming back in. He's behind quite a bit, so probably not. This last loss really cost him, but he's, he's, he's berserking now, as you can see with the three. Focus on him. <clears throat> so if you guys like what you see, this variant is brought to you by Chesswiz TV and a couple of people, so let me give a shout-out to them. First of all, shout-out to Tebow, the creator of LeeChess.org, this excellent website that we're playing on right now. You can find it at lichess.org and play chess to your heart's content at any time of the day or night, I'm embarrassed to say. Second shout out to Happio. This guy worked hard to bring this chess variant to you. I did not program this variant. Thibaut, aka Ornacar, did not program this variant. It was programmed by a man named Happio, and he did it free of charge. He created Horror Chess for you today, so big shout outs to him. Thirdly, shout out to uh, Damon, because in a recent episode I said I just love it when people support Chesswiz TV, even if it's tiny amounts. I just love finding tiny amounts of money on the ground. I talked about how excited I was to find a penny on the road, how excited I always am to find a penny on the road unless someone takes it from me. Well, Damon took that a step further and he donated one cent per month to Chesswiz TV. So every month he's giving me an entire penny, which I can receive after taxes and fees. It's like... 0.9 pennies or 0.8 pennies, and I am so thrilled to receive that. So thank you, Damon, for supporting the show. If you want to support Chesmas TV also, um, there are ways, but you might have to work on figuring that out. Um, and then the prize for the tournament. Shout out to Chesswiz TV for bringing the prize because that makes this tournament oh so epic. Now let's get back to the tournament. We've got some finals to look at. DV Razor, let's refresh this, although I think it auto refreshes. DV Razor in first place by four, and his game... Oh, Hang on, just because I, I have the option Oops, to play Rook Takes Pawn doesn't again. mean he's actually going to take my bishop. Not looking, oh, are you picking up that queen, though? we got to get in that game and take a look. No, you're not. Chess sucks, takes him down. Wow. 
Oh, I forgot to give a shout out to X Ray LX too. If you don't oh, know hang on, I can win a pawn. It might not be worth it. TV. Look at that, DV Razor destroyed in the final moments of the stream. I wish I had, wish I had seen more of that game, but we can see DV Razor taking the loss. So that's going to put him. Oh, and there's six minutes left for Goldilocks to pass him. This is critical, critical. Have I said that enough times? Terrible, terrible damage. Oh, only a few moments left for Irks to run out of time. Unfortunately, he's not going to have enough time to take all those pawns. So Goldilocks takes the win, and he berserked. You can see half the time bonus point, which means five points on this baby. So let's go back to the tournament view and see that's going to put him ahead by one. This is epic. I think Goldilocks has taken the win. Come on, promote that pawn, man. Just checkmate him. Promote, checkmate, pawn. Hurry. He trades. I see you have a queen there. Not anymore. Oh, I can't find a checkmate. Don't stalemate the guy. Oh, he's out of time. That puts Goldilocks in first place. If Goldilocks wins his final game, finishes and wins, he has locked in the victory. So that's definitely the key game to win. And his final game is, I keep clicking that, man, I'm a doofus. Okay, his final game, Hot Govi leaves the game. Hot Govi throwing it, I can't believe it. So that gives Goldilocks another win, right? What are we looking at right now? Yeah, I think he's gonna have 69 or 70. And I think he's going to run away with it. Todovsky working so hard. Here he is tearing up his opponent. This game is a clear win for the pieces, I think. The pawns are nowhere near promoting. That extra rook, by the way, guys, you might say, well, can black do something here? This extra rook is just so useful. Oh, stop my mic is on. Because anytime yeah. there's trouble, just come yeah, back here and cover the back rank so easily. Okay, that's so, cool. I don't know what I'm drawing. But some, maybe it's a, yeah. it's a horse. Horse. That's how you say horse. Okay. Goldilocks. Oh, his opponent did show up. Also, this he did not win four or five games. Hot Govi did not leave the game. He's in it. So this is the critical, critical match. If Goldilocks, if uh, Goldilocks wins this, he wins. And look how he's tearing it off. I think Goldilocks has the win right here. Can anyone pass him? DD Razor taking that loss. Oh. Todovsky winning, but not fast enough. Three minutes left in the tournament. Look at him. Look at him breaking through. Wow. <clears throat> Eight spectators on this game, by the way, guys. Look at this. Oh, it doesn't scroll. Fine. Look at this. Eight spectators in this game. And Chesbiz is one of them. Come on, Goldilocks. You can do it. South Africa, that's awesome. South Africa represent. You never know if it's their real country because when they pick a country, they don't have to like supply proof of residency or anything like that. So you can really say whatever country you want. So you never know if people are from the country they say they are. But I think it doesn't matter. I think he's going to win. All right, no gotta go for me. Who names the arena? Asks I don't know how I'm going to mate in this game, but okay. Um. So something something interesting I have for you guys now is to get some feedback from you. I can see Chess was Cup ending here. I have some polls that I've put together. Uh, it won't take very long, but I just want to ask you a few questions about the tournament, like was it dumb? So you can say yes or no. So I'm going to put those in the stream chat so that you guys can answer me some questions. And just tell me what you thought of the stream. So I'm pasting those in the stream chat. And then, whoops, I just closed the stream chat, which is an idiocy of myself because now I lose all my history. Oh, did Hot Govi resign? I don't know. Okay, so those are in the chat. Uh, Horchess, you are not winning because you don't have the most points in the tournament. Uh, so now I see win for uh, what makes Horchess exciting points. if you open the center. And minute 42, um, it is over, pretty my much. Goodness. So here are some polls. I'm putting them in the tournament chat now. So if you guys like... Yeah. Opening the center is probably a huge, uh, stupid mistake. 
but I need to get the king right in the opening. This is the only way to try to do it. We can have another one. We can never have another one. So click those links as well. If you're on YouTube, I'll put them below the video in the description of the video. So you can provide your opinion there. Although you probably didn't participate in the tournament, you can still give your opinion because... It occurs to me that this just might actually be a legitimate strategy. Uh, and not just a troll thing. So one minute left. I and maybe this is what I should have been doing so the whole the tournament. Victory lap for, oh, he's not even playing. Um, his victory lap is to just sit here in the chat. They have not egout time to begin and finish a gale before the end of the tournament. You're right, Solal. They don't. It is over. <sighs> what an event. What hey, at least I'll get a win out of this. Let that count so, down. Thank you all that. for tuning in. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun. I certainly did. I didn't like capturing that pawn with my queen against chess sucks. That kind of uh, was my low moment. And also not noticing when I was in a game and forfeiting that game. I have to go look, though. I have to go look and see how would I have done if I hadn't lost those two. So let's find chess was on the... On the uh, come on. Come on, scroll bar. Scroll better. Where's chess was on here? All right, well, congratulations oh, to uh, Goldilocks so for winning the tournament. Lags. People aren't used to tournaments this big. Come on. I'm refreshing the page. The stream still works. Okay, here we go. Computer's overheating. Where's ChessWiz on here? I know I'm in here somewhere. That was a fun event. How am I that far down? I'm not. I missed it. Sorry, I was ignoring the chat so much there, but I have, like, no idea how to play this game. Oh, well, I guess I'm way on the bottom, right? So, being able to watch the game while it's in progress is kind of important. So, if I had won that, that would have been 8. If I had won that, that would have been 8. So, 16 plus 30, I guess, is 48. So, I would still be in here. I would have beat you so loud by a little bit. Ooh, the tournament is finished. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. I'll be contacting Goldilocks. He'll be contacting me to award the prize. If you have any feedback, you can use the polls that I linked here, there, and everywhere. You can also just talk to me in the stream chat right now, or you can comment in the YouTube video below here. Whatever you'd like to say. Tell me you love the tournament. Tell me you hated it. Tell me Horde Chess makes you hate life. It could be true. Just don't play Horde Chess. If you don't like Horde Chess, I'm great. Oh, he's still watching my game, and I can't hear him, because my speakers are turned way down. You guys have to trust me that, even though he's convincing over the game and explaining what an exciting game it is. Wait, no, he's not watching me. I'm watching my own stream. What am I talking about? This has been Chess with Steve. Thanks for watching. I'm a shortcut this has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching. Ah, it still doesn't work. Come on. Oh, I wasn't using the Alt key. One more time. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching. The pieces there are so go. much better than the pawns, if you know what you're doing. It's a forced win for white. Huh. Okay, I had much the opposite opinion. Oh, just this hunch. Um, yeah. Oh, we don't have computer analysis for this yet. That's so sad. Oh yeah, here's the final standings. See this? See this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Which reminds me, let's see... Okay. That program has wrapped up. So, let me dismiss that window and see who's doing chess at the moment. Oh, okay. Well. Let's see, did I get a trophy for this? <laughs> yeah. I'm a millionaire! Yeah, nice. Okay, everybody's asking Zug to stream. I don't know why Zug played in this and he didn't stream it. Um, that seems like a missed opportunity. Uh, so, okay. If I want, I could go to, what is it? Players? Is that where I see? Um, or just listed here. Not yet. 
Okay. Um, well, let's go to my trophy cabinet. These only update on the hour, so even if I did earn a trophy, it wouldn't show up here for a while. All I've just got is atomic and anti-chess uh, top 50.